Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft apparently is starting a routine cleanup of outdated drivers that you get through Windows Update. And this is all according to this post over on the tech community, removal of unwanted drivers from Windows Update, where Microsoft says basically it wants to tighten security and improve overall system stability across the Windows ecosystem by making this move. Now this has been confirmed in this post to its hardware partners, so basically it's OEMs, Original Equipment Manufacturers, saying that drivers with newer replacements already available on Windows Update will be the first to go. And a legacy driver is basically an old or outdated driver that has a newer and fully compatible version available for the same device. And you don't need the legacy driver when a newer driver obviously is available. So that's why it's been removed. And I think in the bigger picture, most Windows users won't even notice this change because it's really taking place under the hood, so to speak. Now, when a driver has expired and a newer replacement is available, you will then not see the older driver on Windows Update. And Microsoft has said that currently this change is only for legacy drivers that already have newer replacements and says plans for other categories will be shared later. No specific date or day is given. Now something else to take note of is that Microsoft has said from the announcement that OEMs can republish the driver when it expires or is removed and Microsoft will then bring it back but OEMs need to justify why they want an old or expired driver back on Windows Update. And this seems to be something that Microsoft is, again, is going to be doing now periodically moving into the future. And Microsoft says that the move is all about maintaining stronger security and outdated or duplicate drivers can pose compatibility issues or create unnecessary risk, according to Microsoft. And by narrowing the so-called driver base to only those that are current and widely needed, it hopes then to improve reliability across devices, which I certainly hope it does because we get a lot of driver issues um, on Windows. And not all drivers, as you may well know, are the latest and greatest that get pushed out through Windows Update. Most drivers, um, if you want to do a driver update, you can head over to the OEM's website directly and get a much more up-to-date driver in a lot of the cases. But it's going to be interesting to see how this pans out. As mentioned, I don't think your average home user will even notice this change to some degree or the other. But let me know what you think. Move in the right direction or not. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.